So yesterday in a video about AMD Relive and NVIDIA Shadowplay, I said that we would soon today have an update on OCAT, which is AMD's overlay on top of Presentmon that they have developed to make it easier to benchmark DX12 and low-level API applications like Vulkan. So that's what we're talking about today. Now, unfortunately, because of bugs that I ran into with OCAT, we don't have the full analysis, but I still wanted to explain how it works and what AMD's goals are and how it hooks into Presentmon, what Presentmon is. I'm joined by our senior OCAT analyst here, obviously, but uh, that's the idea for the content. So hopefully this at least gives a preliminary look at the software, what it does, how you can use it. But for the benchmarking, that's gonna have to wait until after it's not buggy anymore. Before getting to that, this content is brought to you by our Patreon backers. Thanks to those of you who are supporting us on Patreon. You can check the link, patreon.com slash gamersnexus if you like our content and wanna help directly. So very quickly, what is OCAT? OCAT is AMD's approach to basically Presentmon. So if you don't know what Presentmon is, let's go over the tools first. For benchmarking tools right now, your options are basically things like Fraps, which despite being aged and a bit decrepit, actually works really well uh, for benchmarking anyway. So it captures frame times, that's important, and it captures frame rate. And then you can pretty easily validate that data against other tools. Now, Fraps uses the variable called onPresent as opposed to the onDisplay variable. That's closer to the engine. So onPresent is uh, more representative of the frame rate as it gets spit out of the engine. And then onDisplay is the option we don't use, but is fine as long as you're consistent in the use of whichever variable you may be measuring with. Fraps doesn't do onDisplay to my knowledge. So uh, that's kind of traditional what people use, but uh, on display, we don't use, we use only on present for everything. Present on uses both of those variables. That's good. That means that you've got both possible methodologies. And a side note, when you're comparing benchmarks between different websites, this could be part of why the numbers are different sometimes. They should be kind of within a scale, but uh, total side note. So present mon, why is that not more globally used? Well, it's really cool because it's open source and it's by Intel and Microsoft. And <laughs> also, because it's open source and it's by Intel and Microsoft and it's not a sold product, they have no reason to develop something like an interface. This, was, this plugs into things like ETW and you can really easily hook into the OS uh, or hook into whatever API may be being tracked. DX12 works with, Vulkan it works with, DX11, OpenGL, it works with everything. <laughs> so it's really cool, but it's not super widespread and that's because Presentmon out of the box or out of GitHub as it were, uh, you've got to download the Visual Studio, which isn't difficult, it's super trivial to do and actually compile everything. Very easy to do, but that's a step that is intimidating to some folks, certainly those who might not be doing benchmarking for a job, but just for a, a hobby or a passion or something like that. So that's one step that's kind of in the uh, direction of obfuscating how to actually use the tool. Another step in that same direction is with Presentmon, you do it all through command line. It's, it's really not that hard, uh, but again, it's an extra step and it's easy to screw up if you don't really pay attention to the commands that you're writing. Um, we've been doing this for months now since DX12 and Vulkan kind of came about because you can't use Fraps to benchmark those games and you can't use traditional tools, at least not well. Afterburner I don't always trust, doesn't always hook into the game, lots of problems. So uh, we've been using Presentmon. I trust it a lot more. It hooks into U UWP pretty reliably, hooks into all the other APIs, but it's difficult to use for most end users, I think, and probably some media, depending on the level of technical uh, knowledge and time they can put into it. So that's Presentmon. It also creates really detailed CSVs, and you can do a lot with these CSVs, but again, same thing. If you don't know what you're looking at, it's really intimidating, and you're probably gonna be like, okay, so what's my FPS? I, I don't get, what are all these frame times? I don't, what do these mean? Um, so uh, we, we have our own Python scripts that analyze these CSVs. You don't need Python scripts to do it, but it makes it easier. You could use an Excel template. I made one of those previously that runs the calculations, but our Python script is way more efficient. Uh, so that's Presentmon. Now, OCAT is AMD's attempt at building an interface for it. As I said, Presentmon is open source. AMD's OCAT is built on top of the very generous uh, Presentmon license the license that they use anyway. And that means they can use the source code, means they can distribute OCAT as a completely contained tool. So you don't even have to get Presentmon separately. It's all contained in this OCAT EXE. 
and it's an installer, which is also really nice. It makes it easier. You don't have to compile anything or install Visual Studio or anything like that. It also adds an interface through an overlay. So to get overlays working in games, you basically have to create what's called a shim. It shims in normally, traditionally, somewhere between the API and the game. Uh, and that's not necessarily quite as easy with the new APIs, hence these new tools coming about. So presentmon is the heart of OCAT. This means that in theory, the results should be effectively identical and should be fair. So you really shouldn't have to worry about vendor favoring with, uh, for example, AMD building a tool that would make them look better. That's not what's happening here in theory. And they are going to open their source code later so we can actually inspect it, but that's neither here nor there. So the idea is that they're building on presentmon, which is already trusted and known good, and they're offering an interface, and there's some slight overhead, but it's not bad. It's maybe fractions of a millisecond in the frame times, and I think they've pretty much resolved all those issues by the time they pushed this 0.9 whatever beta version of the software they have now. So uh, OCAP, in terms of the overlay options, it puts up in the top right corner, you've got your FPS and your frame times for the current millisecond of whatever you're looking at actively and push a hotkey to record and stop. You can set a delay timer, not a delay timer. I want a delay timer. I've asked them for one. You can set a time expiry, which is how long it will benchmark before it expires and stops the benchmark. And uh, then once it creates the files, you've got CSVs that are the same format as presentmon, which is really important. Because again, it's presentmon, so of course it's going to be the same format. But they don't screw around with it. They don't move any, any data or any columns or anything like that. So the same CSV, that means our same tools can comprehend it and output our own average 1%, 0.1% low values. And anyone's spreadsheets can comprehend it without updates. So this is all good news. Uh, basically, it makes it easier to use, makes it easier to benchmark. It hooks into DX12, it hooks into Vulkan. Having a lot of bugs with it though, like I said. So. Uh, today, I can't benchmark Battlefield 1 with it. It's just not working. Presentmon seems to be working fine. So some issue in there with OCAP, and that's what kind of put a blocking issue in front of our video and article for today uh, was that issue. So it doesn't work quite well in Battlefield 1 right now as uh, following the latest BF1 patch. And by quite well, I mean at all. And also, uh, I was having issues with it in GTA 5. It was just not hooking into the into the game at all. And then uh, we've had some issues elsewhere as well. There's, there's, it'll work eventually, I guess. Well, unfortunately, these problems came up after uh, the actual uh, announcement was made for Relive. So uh, it's not working right now, I can't benchmark it. But that's the idea. And it does also work with on present and on display, same stuff. And if you really don't wanna look at the huge CSVs, then I suppose you get a slight benefit with OCAT in that it produces kind of a, a collected summary file. Um, so that's how it works. So that is all for now. Check back soon. I don't know when yet. We're waiting on AMD to update the software, so hopefully it'll work with Battlefield 1. Okay, that's the big one I want to benchmark here because it's pretty recent, and GTA 5 just to have a DX11, okay, then popular benchmark that we can throw in there. Uh, check back soon, I guess. Otherwise, we'll have normal AskGN and all that content coming up shortly. Patreon link in the post drill video to help us out directly. It links in the description below for more information. Subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time. For him. We should. Well, Stevenism. We'll, we'll look into this. <laughs>